Hello everyone and welcome back to Nintendo Land. I'm your host Scott. Join me for the 20th time. It's Jimmy. Hello, I'm Jim. How are we doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. We got like one week till um, the big old E3 dog. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty sick. That's a pretty sick boy. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So we're today, we're going to chat a bit about E3, our hopes, our dreams, our predictions, and we're going to give our thoughts on some of the leaks that have been coming out in regards to Nintendo's E3. Uh, so we're going to kick it off with some obvious predictions. And probably the biggest obvious prediction is uh, Smash Brothers. I don't think it's going to show up at this one, honestly. Nah? I'm going to have, I'm willing to bet that it won't show up at this one. Uh, that's fair, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so they've announced that there'll be a Smash Brothers tournament uh, featuring some high-named Smash players. And I'm looking forward to that because we're going to get a lot of Smash footage. And that's what I want. That's what a lot of people want. We just want footage. We want to see how the game plays. We want to see some of the new characters for it. Oh, I'm hoping for an ARMS character because I just I love the ARMS games. I know it's not the biggest. The ARMS thing. games, all one of them. Yeah. All all of the ARMS games. Um, I hope there's a character from that. I'm just fingers crossed. Uh, maybe some Captain Toad. I don't know. Um, what are your hopes and dreams for Smash Brothers at E3? Oh, for Smash Brothers, um, I just hope that it just looks fun. That's all I care about. I don't really care about specific characters. Um, See, so yeah, it, Smash Brothers obviously happening. Uh, let us know in the comments who are you hoping to see in Smash Brothers. Next game that we feel might be showing up is the new Yoshi game. It was shown off at E3 last year, and we didn't hear anything about it. It was uh, released alongside the new Yoshi game. And so I thought, okay, Yoshi, Kirby, they're probably going to be early 2018 games. Uh, Kirby came out, it was it was alright, it was nothing special, it was nothing terrible, it was just, it was a cute little Kirby game. Uh, but then the start of 2083, A3? 2018, <laughs> came and went, and we did not, did not see the new Yoshi game. So we're definitely going to be seeing more about that game, hopefully a release date. Uh, yeah, I like me a cute little Yoshi game. How about yourself, Jim Jam? Yeah, I, I'm I'm keen. Hopefully, it runs at its you know 60 FPS as opposed to Kirby's weird choice to run at 30. Um, and I hope that because there's been rumors about the game's title, um, I hope that the title's not flipped around. That's that's literally what people thought it was. Yoshi flipped around. I'm like, that's the worst title <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. I don't want that. So no, none of that, please. Not none of that. Uh, another game that was announced at E3 last year, and we haven't heard anything since, is Metroid Prime 4. Now, I'm a big fan of the Metroid Prime series. I've got the trilogy on the Wii, and I also got Federation Force for the 3DS, even though it's not really that good. Um, so yeah, it's a very hyped up game. A lot of people are looking forward to this one. Uh, Jim, I know you haven't played a Metroid Prime game before, have you? No, but I played the Metroid, Super Metroid, a bit, and I got lost in it lots, and I gave up. Um, but, you know, Metroid Prime is very different, so I kind of yeah, want to dabble into it's it. it's like a first-person yeah. shooter puzzle game. It's really good, uh, and I'm hoping we see more about this game, except for just the logo. I'm sure we'll see something, at least like a, a, a pre-put-together cutscene, or even just a level they've put together just to showcase. So, they might have something. There's, there's a possibility of it, but... I wouldn't put any high bets on it. Now, if we were to have recorded this video about a week ago or so, uh, like we, we've recorded this three times now because new news keeps coming out. Uh, Breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we would have said that we might see P Pokemon shown off at E3 this year. However, that's not going to be the case since they've already announced the games. Uh, quite a few people are wondering if they're going to show off the 2019 core RPG game uh, at E3. Personally, I don't think so. No, they won't, because they'll take attention away from the next game that's coming out, the Pokemon um, Let's Go. Like, it'll be stupid for them to be like, hey, we got this game coming out in October, but look, wait, no, November, but hey, look at this one, it probably looks a lot better, you probably don't want to buy this new one now, they probably don't want to focus on it at all, they probably just want to say, hey, it's coming out, don't worry. Um, and they're probably going to, you know, heavily highlight the Let's Go game at E3. Um, maybe not heavily, but they'll probably just have some kind of promotional thing to get it out there to the masses and be like, Hey, it's coming out. Get ready, man. It's a Pokemon. Um, that's all I can really 
feel about that one. Yeah, pretty much so. We're going to get a little Pokemon, if anything. We'll probably just get a reminder, Pokemon Let's Go is coming out soon. That's probably what we're going to get. Uh, one game, one series that Nintendo fans have been gasping for is a new Animal Crossing game. Oh, uh, okay. I thought you were going to say Cooking Mama, but okay. You know, that too. You know, Cooking Mama is a great franchise. It's... oh. Beautiful. Anyway, Animal, Animal Crossing? Animal Crossing. Uh, there was not a proper Animal Crossing game for the Wii U. There was a terrible Amiibo Festival game, which I picked up for $10. And I still don't think it was worth that. Um, but here's hoping for a home console version of Animal Crossing. It's been forever since we've had a home version. Uh, on the Wii was the last time. Jim, have you played many of the Animal Crossing games before? I'm not sure. No, I've seen everyone around me get addicted to it and I lose all my friends because of it. But other than that, I've had no experience, so... <gasps> oh my gosh. Well, hopefully they do announce one so you can get caught up in the hype as well. Animal Crossing, great game. 3DS game is amazing. I don't know how they're going to up themselves with that, but Animal Crossing always does somehow. Uh, personally, I feel like too much is going on for at the to the end of this year for them to announce it at this E3. I think if anything it will probably be be coming out next year along with the core Pokemon title. Um, have you got any thoughts about the new Animal Crossing game? Um, I don't think it will come out this year at all. There's no way it'd come out. Um, anything about it this year? Maybe they might do a Metroid and give us a logo and be like, hey, it's coming. Um, but I don't think it's <laughs> that epic. Like, Metroid Prime, they had the 4 logo and it all fades in. It's like, oh, what's this? Animal Crossing, it'd be like, you see like a little leaf flow down and then you see this guy pick up a tree from the ground and he's like, oh, oh, got a shovel. And then it fades in, Animal Crossing. And it's like, the crowd goes, whoa. And it's like, 2022. And it's like, oh. (laughs) Oh, you got me. (laughs) That's what I'd expect, but no, no gameplay, man. No hardcore gameplay for that game. Oof. Yeah, I don't know how you get hardcore gameplay from uh, Animal Crossing anyway. Oh, it's pretty easy. So, another game that was recently announced, uh, but not much has been shown, is Bayonetta 3, which was shown off at the Game Awards uh, last year. As Jimmy knows, I am a massive Bayonetta fan. I got quite excited when she got announced for Smash Brothers the other year. Oh, yeah. Oh, if we still had that video in the archives, I'd play that right now, but we don't. Who is that, Lady Palatine? <laughs> um, so yeah, Bayonetta 3 is coming out sometime. Don't know when. Uh, hopefully we see some gameplay of that, or at least a cinematic trailer of some sort. I'm just looking forward to more Bayonetta. I love me some Bayonettis. Jimmy doesn't really care for Bayonetta, but nah. who cares what Jimmy has to say? Yeah, really. Like At this point, like I'm very indifferent about everything, so why do people even watch me? I don't know. So yeah, Bayonetta 3... I say it's quite probable we'll see something on that. Yeah, I'm same. Hoping so. I think so too. Now, Jimmy. Oh, uh, yeah? Do you reckon we're going to see any new Wii U port announced at E3 this year? Because we've already had so many Wii U ports. We've had Banner 1, 2. We've had Donkey Kong. We've had Hyrule Warriors. We've got Captain Toad coming out. And if so, what sort of games do you think will be getting the port treatment next? Oh, jeez. I have no idea... Um, I figure you're asking this question because you have ideas. Is it anything uh, you're thinking? Not really. I was just asking if you had any ideas. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, no <laughs> This idea. whole Fair segment's enough. been completely destroyed by the fact that we can't think of any ideas. Well, thankfully, I have some ideas. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, see, I told you you had an opinion. <laughs> Got ya. Um, one of those is The Wonderful 101, another game made by Platinum. Came out on the Wii U and didn't receive uh, a lot of love, which is a bit of a shame. It was now sort it's of receiving similar. too much love because I always hear about it. Uh, it's a weird game. It's sort of a bit like Okami, uh, but not with a wolf, with real people. Um, yeah, I'm hoping for that to come out. Another game that I loved on the Wii U was uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, which was a really weird Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei crossover game, which turned into Fire Emblem characters trying to be J-pop idols. It was a bit weird, uh, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> now, Jimmy, have you got any other predictions, hopes and dreams you'd like to see at E3, which we haven't discussed yet? Hopes and dreams for E3, Nintendo. Um, 
this is going to be the unpopular opinion, but I want to see something new that's not a sequel or something along those lines. See, I'm one of those people that want something new. I'm um, just kidding. I'm not that pretentious. But, like, no, I do want something new. Um, Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Um, no, yeah, I just want something new to come out. Um, just something creative and different, something that kind of defines the Switch, something that kind of uses the Switch's features and makes it stand out and makes it stand out something unique. I just want something new. That's well, all. Uh, fair enough. He wants something new, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, leading up to E3, a lot of leaks have been coming out. Some can seem to be true, a lot are definitely false. Uh, we're going to have a quick talk about the the most intriguing leaks, uh, which a lot of people are taking um, to be true. Um, and the first one is the uh, rumour of Star Fox Grand Prix, uh, which is a Star Fox racing game that will be coming out. Apparently, it's being worked on by Retro Studios, the people behind the Donkey Kong Country Return, uh, the Metroid Primes. And yeah, a lot of people are a bit confused at first. They're like, why make a Star Fox racing game when you already have F-Zero? Um, but I feel like an F, uh, not an F zero, a Star Fox racing game could work pretty well. If you ever played uh, Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed, uh, you got to move between driving a car, riding a boat, and flying a plane, uh, similar to like Diddy Kong Racing and stuff like that. And the plane bits were always like one of my favourite moments of the game. Um, so I feel like a racing game just fully flying about. I think that could be a lot of fun. Um, Jimmy, have you heard much about the Star Fox Grand Prix, and do you reckon it's real, or do you reckon it's just nonsense? Um, I think this has left... I don't know what the sources are for it, so I don't know, like, what what does it stand on? Just, did someone just say it's happening, or what do we know? Well, basically, what happened was, I believe it was a 4chan post, I believe, uh. um, where someone posted the logo of it, and then someone uh, added... Underneath it, saying it was all true. I mean, Photoshop's pretty and cool. A lot of people, Photoshop's exactly. a pretty good tool. But um, I I don't know. I I think this is so unique that it might be a thing. Because usually, again, people will just make the, like the the leaks that will come out will be the biggest desires and dreams for everyone. Like the sequel to a long loved franchise that is making its return. A Star Fox racing game is not something that I think is is desired by really anyone, but now that it exists, I'm like, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. And I don't see the comparison as well. You made a comparison saying, like, um, or people are saying, like, oh, why do we need a Star Fox racing game when F-Zero exists? It's like, because they're two completely different styles. You have flights and and the the R wing combat stuff you could integrate in, integrate into it, and then you have F zero, which is lots of fast paced stuff. So I think it's definitely a completely different style. I think it's stupid to compare them. So yeah, I'm I'm all for it. Don't know if it's real, but it sounds like it could be cool. So yeah, go yeah, cool, cool man. I want to see it. Yeah, yeah, boy. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, not long to wait until you do see it if it is real. Um, and the most recent uh, E3 leak that has recently come out is a leaked E3 document uh, suggesting a few third-party games for the Nintendo Switch. Have you seen this one yet, Jimmy? No, no. It's just a printed piece of paper with a list. Uh, well, it is a printed piece of paper, but it has logos on it and it has information in regards to uh, the booths that are going to be set up at Nintendo's uh, area and stuff like that. So it seems professional. Um, but you never know, Photoshop exists. Yeah, Photoshop and InDesign and, and all these Adobe programs exist, so fair enough. Um, and the first one on this list, uh, with the logo, is Dragon Ball Fighters. Now, a lot of people have been wanting this to come out on the Switch since it released all the other consoles. It's been a widely popular um, fighting game. It looks pretty cool. I'm not the biggest Dragon Ball uh, fan. To be honest, I've never actually watched the show. No, uh, neither. Uh, but the game looks alright. I played it around my friend's house. It was enjoyable. Uh, Jimmy, I'm not going to even ask you because you probably don't even care at all. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think it might happen. Next. Good good input. Uh, next up 
is FIFA 19. Okay, now even if this isn't a leak, that's the most obvious thing ever because yes, of course it's coming out next. Uh, next up is a bit of an interesting <laughs> one. <laughs> Nothing to say. It's, it's Paladins. Wait, what? What coming is it? Coming to the Nintendo Switch Paladins. Okay. Uh, n- now, do you know what Paladins is, Jimmy? No. Okay, Paladins is a free-to-play uh, Overwatch uh, type game. Has a lot of similarities to Overwatch. A lot of people sort of call it out sometimes to being too similar, but it's sort of strayed off a, sort of a new path now. It's starting to get its own identity, and it's got quite a big following. Um, so that'd be cool if it came along. Um, it's like it's like the alternative to Overwatch if you don't want to pay for it. And Overwatch is the alternative to Team Fortress, so. Exactly. Um, we can't really make those complaints, can we? Um, so yeah, I'm looking for it. If that actually comes out, I'll definitely pick that up. Uh, because there's no Overwatch. And Paladins is, is close enough. Um, any other thoughts on that one? Um, I think with that one, uh, I think Overwatch might actually just come out to the Switch. Like, if anything, I think it's popular enough to the point where they might just be like, no, nah, Overwatch is on Switch. So, honestly, over that, I'll say Overwatch... It's probably coming to Switch, even though I don't Ooh. care about that game at all. And I think the f- the fans of that game are obsessive for no reason about all the characters, even though it's just a silly shooting game. Um, Oof. Yeah, Watch right. It. Watch Ooh, it, mate. Get Watch ready. It. Um, I'm more keen to see actual Overwatch come as opposed to this apparent Overwatch clone, as some people are saying. But again, people will probably defend that as well. I don't know. I've never seen the game. I don't know. Uh, next up is the current most popular game in the world. Any guesses? Um, Paladins. You're, that was the one we just talked about. Um, uh, oh, oh, is it is it Fortnite? Is you it, are correct. Is it? it is Fortnite coming to the oh, Switch. Oh, thank God. Uh, now, uh, just recently, not so long ago, about an hour or so ago, uh, the Korean rating um, board recently post updated their website uh, with Fortnite being rated for the Nintendo Switch. So that is basically all but confirmed. So a lot of people are taking a lot more credit into this leaked image. Um, I mean, to be fair, Fortnite was inevitably going to come out for Switch. There's no way it wasn't. So again, I don't think that makes all this credible. I just think that it's it's an obvious choice. Just throwing it out there. (laughs) Pharaoh. Uh, next it's up, o- it's as obvious as FIFA 19. Let's just say that much. <laughs> uh, next up is a game which I don't know anything about, and it's called Killer Queen Black. Uh, do you know anything about that game, Jimmy? No. Oh wow. I, yeah, I don't know anything. I can't say anything because I don't know anything about the game. Um, so yeah, apparently that's going to be announced. So look forward to that, ladies and gentlemen. Cool. Can't wait. Uh, next up is a sequel to a absolute classic of an indie game. Uh, it is Overcooked 2, baby. Oh, okay. Uh, I've never actually played Overcooked. Have you played it? <laughs> I've seen it, and it looks all right. Wow, well, we've got so much to say about these games. Mm, I know, we're really gaming experts. Exactly. Uh, next up is the Monster Hunter game that's been out in uh, Japan for quite a long time. About a year now. And they're finally deciding to bring it over to the West. Uh, so they're going to be showing that off at E3. Yay for that, Monster Hunter Worlds was very popular and it brought in a lot of new Monster Hunter fans. So hopefully it makes this game successful. Uh, Mm. Next up, uh, they're going to be showing off Starlink. If you remember what that was, that was the Ubisoft uh, Toys to Life game. uh, Where you built little spaceships and you got to customize it. Oh, that weird thing, yeah. (laughs) I like the look of it. It looks pretty cool. Um... Have you got any thoughts on that one? Um, it looks like it'll be fun for 20 minutes, then you'll put it away forever and never play it again. Oh, that's fair. This is most games for me, to be honest. Um, and the last one on this list is an obvious one. It's Mario Tennis Aces. Wow, which is coming out very soon and has a demo starting pretty much today. I think it's already started. Um, next few days. Dude, we should just play that. Uh, we should just cancel this right now. Yeah, let's, let's get out of here. Um, so... To wrap up, that was a little leak that came out uh, just yesterday. Yeah, it's nothing ex- super exciting apart from Dragon Ball Fighters for some people, Paladins, Fortnite. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what else they have to show at E3. Will we see Pikmin uh, finally shot? They've said they've uh, had that game finished for a while. 
Uh, let's hope it shows up eventually. I want more Pikmin in my life, please. Uh, yeah. Any any final comments? Oh, a final comment. Um, oh, with that list as well, I'd say because nothing on there stood out as being extravagant, I'd say it's probably the official list of things that are happening there. Well, some of them at the very least. Um, and that's what I have to say. Um, excited for E3. Yes, yes I am. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, is that all you have to say? Anything else? Is that it? No. Oh, that's fair I enough. <laughs> <laughs> I usually have a lot to say, but I don't this time. You're like, yeah, I've finished. Shut up. You keep talking, Scott. Um, yeah, I want to play Mario Tennis. All right, calm down. We'll get, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, so yeah, look forward to E3 coming up very soon. Be sure to stay tuned, stay subscribed to Nintendo Lounge. Uh, to see all of our E3 coverage, uh, our discussions, our reactions, our other videos, I don't know, whatever yeah, we, what do we do. Yeah, whatever we do. I can't remember what we do. What do we do again? What's this channel about? I don't even know. What is <laughs> is this Sega Lounge? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 YouTube's favorite YouTube's show. Favorite. Uh, so thank you very much for listening to this ramble of a podcast uh, thingy, Majiggy. We will see you all during E3. Oh my gosh, get excited boys. I'm excited. Woo, woo. Follow us on Twitter for live tweets that will that I'll eventually delete of me getting excited for games. Oh, uh, why are you why are you gonna delete it for? Because then I'm like, oh wait, I'm a nerd, I need to stop, so I delete them. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, no, chill out. I need to stop. You nerd. Alright. Bye bye. Let's go play some Mario tennis. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's do that now. Bye. Alright, bye.